Hi everybody, this is Tristan from World English School and today I've got a special book for you. When Dad Cuts Down the Chestnut Tree by Pam Ayers or Aries and Graham Percy. This is a nice story. When Dad Cuts Down the Chestnut Tree. Look at that nice big chestnut tree. Is that a greenhouse in the back? Regular house over here. Nice brick wall here. When Dad cuts down the chestnut tree. When Dad cuts down the chestnut tree, he'll make such things for you and me. Looks like Dad might be a carpenter. He's got all the tools. A rocking horse to ride all day. A fort where all my soldiers stay. Little soldiers down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine soldiers. Cool. Dad made that, huh? He's a good carpenter, huh? A wheelbarrow painted blue. A faithful duck on wheels for you. Why is it faithful? It stays with the child. It's a faithful duck. Stilts to make us very tall. My dad made me stilts when I was a child, just like that. Colored blocks to build a wall. Nice blocks, huh? Those are big blocks, too. Nice different colors there. When the tree is on the ground, all my friends will come around. All the kids want to come and play. On the trunk, we'll jump and climb. We will have a lovely time. The trunk, the trunk of the tree. That's a big tree, isn't it? You see the rings? If you count the rings, you know how old the tree is. And look, there's that greenhouse back here. These kids are having fun. No more tearing jacket sleeves. <laughs> Uh-oh. No more sweeping up of leaves. Don't have to worry about that anymore. And when I'm tucked into my bed, kisses kissed and good nights said, the tree won't scare me anymore when the night wind makes its roar. When I was a child too, I remember a tree outside. It wasn't a chestnut tree, but it was scary sometimes because of the shadows on the wall and I would get scared sometimes but when dad cuts down the chestnut tree no more scary sounds or shadows if there wasn't any tree what difference would it make to me what would be different no tree house that's the worst of all a tree house is a fun thing to have to hide in when we hear mom call honey time for dinner Stay up in the treehouse, hide from mom. <laughs> nice. But that's the sad part, huh? No more treehouse. No cool places in the shade when we have run and jumped and played. No leaves to kick and throw about and roll each other in and shout. No sticks to find on chilly days to make our winter fires blaze. No more sticks. Good for a fire. And there is another thing. What will happen to our swing? Oh, it's sad, isn't it? Are they going to cut this down, really? Where will owl and squirrel stay? Owl and squirrel, where will they stay? If the tree is hauled away. If the tree is really gone, what can I hang my birdhouse on? What can I what can I put my birdhouse on if that tree is gone? Suddenly we're not so sure we want to, it cut down anymore. Trees are special, large or small. So dad, don't cut it down at all. <laughs> they changed their mind, huh? Maybe we want that tree, they think. 
too many good things. So in the end, the chestnut tree stays. And if we look back at the beginning, we can see it's the same, isn't it? In the beginning and in the end. And Dad was thinking about it. You can see here. Look here again. Dad was thinking about it, huh? But his kids, they said, Dad, don't do it. And then he did not, and the chestnut tree stayed. Isn't that nice? So they didn't cut it down. The end. This is called When Dad Cuts Down the Chestnut Tree. My dad used to cut down trees in our yard sometimes. And it was fun to have trees cut down, but sometimes it's nice for trees to stay. What do you think? You, would you want the toys or would you want the tree? Thanks for watching. Bye.